it's for. Landing, there, Where's your engine for this yoke? And we go. No, we go. Well, do you have this sticker right, anyways? Because it is a certified shit box. <laughs> it does look like a little, like, a mini, mini, mini SR20. It's like, okay, like SR10. It. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to warm up a Honda. It's key to limiter. Hello, everybody. So today, Sean said, bring the GoPro, because I'm going for a spin to a garage that. The garage is quite famous, but. I've never been to it, and I never thought I would be going to it, but a friend of mine is up there working at the moment, so when we get there, I'll show you all the cool stuff that's up there. So, enjoy the time lapse. It's only a care. Please pay four euro. Why are you doing four euro? You said two thirty a minute ago. Oh. Thank you. Oh, you. That's such a four euro. Jesus. A beautiful day. With all my nice, careful, cautious driving. I'm low on fuel. So, pit stop in Banlasloe. What a lovely day in Banlasloe when it's like pissing rain at home and tune. Hello, Mary. 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 Better stop that now. She probably is called Mary. Nothing, thank you. It's too cold. So we will be at our destination in two minutes. Didn't think I'd be going there. But that's where we're going. Because Ralph is in the drift game shed. I'll let him explain what he's doing there. But that's where he is. We're going to see him, pick up some bits. So see you there, there in a minute. So this is the famous yard. Never thought I'd be driving in here. It's so weird driving in here. Oh look, at there's the shed. Twain shed. This is really weird coming in here. Like, you watch something on YouTube for so long, and then when you actually get here, it's really weird. Because this is where... Drift Games made a massive success of our channel. And this is where we all watched. But now I'm here in the yard. <laughs> and there's Ralph. There's his build. God, it's clean. So, yeah, let's get out and have a look and have a chat to him and see what he has to say. Okay. Hello, Ralph. Fancy meeting you in here in this shed. I recognize this shed. I recognize that rack. How are you keeping? Not too bad. Recognize <laughs> this. What is this? World Tour. This is over there in the middle of Oh, yes.
so Ralph. For anyone who doesn't know you, who are you? Tell tell us who are you and uh, little, uh, how are you been drifting that? Little drifter. I've been drifting like two years. Started in the MX5. Went to the Supercharged MX5. Adore, so fucking loud. Thank God, Jill. <laughs> now I'm building this. FDR7. It's going to be 500 horsepower SR powered. SR? Yeah, SR. So you've gone for an SR and an RX-7. That's yeah. an unusual combination. Yeah, so we bought it and it had that SR up there. And then... God's uh, engines, yeah. of course. It wasn't God's engine at the bash. Because it blew up. Um, the angels wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> I think the bottom end went. Uh, we knew SR in the trailer that I'll show you in a minute from Blaine Rafferty. Yes. So that's fully forged and solid top end and Whopper turbo. So that's going into this now. So, so people might, might, might know you from the MX5 yeah. with the really loud supercharger that, yeah. that thankfully you can tell everyone now that where is the supercharger gone? Over there on the shelf. The MX5 is over getting mapped at the moment and it's got a turbo kit from. So people, there's no more supercharger. Yeah. You'll be disappointed. You won't hear Ralph roar in the supercharger around the paddock anymore. Yeah, mapped and banked. So <laughs> we've been turbo with the MX5. And just for a bit more power and the Celtic Customs just gave me a good deal on the, the whole kit. So good, good. It's nicer. Out the bonnet now, so, so you getting a fresh wrap on it. So tell me about this car. How so, did you come to. So. We wanted uh, something a bit more competitive for IDC because we did a year in the MX-5 and we got 33rd in qualifying like twice and it's just just the actual sh or the chassis of the car is a bit too short and it's hard to get outer zones and stuff and it's just hard to do a full like loop of the track. Weight low power as well, the yeah. power you had wasn't, wasn't massive. It was an 80 brake and it's just the car is just a bit too short. They're class cars but they're more for practice days I think. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. We want to go when you do different. series competition, it's 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 okay yeah. for a starter car, but when yeah. you want to get into it, then they're you need it. You win for a different chassis. Can we let it down? Have a look at it. Yeah. So uh, I think it's me, James Dean, and Lloyd Patterson are the only three with FDs drifting them. <laughs> yes. So Lloyd's V8, James's rotary. Was I saw now? Mine's I saw. Um, God's in. So you'll have to, um, we'll have to three of them out together. Yeah. On the track, it'd be really cool. I think it would be cool. Stay down the carrier or something. But yeah, we bought this down in Galway. Uh, it's a little bit tired looking. That SR looked a little bit tired. It's only a standard SR, standard turbo and stuff. And so we had to put a knees tune into it just to get it going. Um, so yeah, we, I stripped it down a few weeks ago. Will you have it ready for the first round of the season? Jackfest. Yes. That's the aim. You have a lot of work to do. Yeah. I have to do a bit of welding and I have to wrap a car. Yeah. And I'm worried will I be ready in time. This is a Lloyd, it's booked in for Lloyd in about the 30th of March, so... Four weeks? Four weeks. And he should have it for two, so... If you have a lot of work to do in four weeks. I haven't even got the new Y, so I have the back arms and the coil arms. So will you have the other turbo, turbo, uh, turbo one MX-5? Might, might be out from Jackfest if this isn't ready. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully it'll be ready. But um, we wanted to go for something a little bit different rather than a chassis you, or a Beamer. You did go a lot different. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right choice. But oh yeah, different's always good. Yeah, MX-5 was, uh, was different. Great thing about this sport, everyone like everyone has their own puts their own take on the cars and everyone gets yeah. a car and makes it their own, do you know what I mean? There's no yeah. right or wrong way, it's whatever works for you. Yeah, so this, this car had loads of here, it's just un, it was kind of undercoated everywhere by the previous owner and it just looked a bit tired and it was standard front end. So we stripped it all down, sent it off to Ryan Morton, he did the front and back tube work uh, and then the Group D fuel cell in the back and stuff. Um, I already had the cage and he grinded the front to the dash there. Yes. And then we got a sand blasted and then got us resprayed in white, uh, which I think looks a lot fresher. And so instead of getting the soap frames power coated and needs to do coil like the car was just very BC? tired. BC? BCs, yeah. BCs, new boys out and then hard race in the back because they don't make boys up for these. Uh, and then keeping the standard diff 
We're going SR engine and then we're going CD09 gearbox. And then it's 401 ratio diff so. And what pop brake horsepower is your SR? Uh, it was on Bradley's dyno at 497. So just under 500. Nice. This garage is a very famous garage. Yeah, this is Drift Games' old garage, but uh, it belongs to Wayne Carroll. Like. So how are you in here? Are you now part of the Drift Games team? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Drift Games moved out of here. They went to Dublin. So they made it their ramp up there, so they didn't need this place. Um, so we got it off Queen. Uh, a very, it's a great spot to, to do work in, like. Nice, nice garage, yeah. So, like, we've got three lifts and nice light here. Actually, I'll turn on the lights. It's really weird being in these places because like you watch it all your life and then yeah. you watch them build this garage and you might see them move in it and how long are they in it? They're in it two years. Two years. Out, yeah. They just didn't need it anymore. They were going to keep their drift cars here. What's going on with the Micra? Everyone wants to know <laughs> what are you doing in SR11? <laughs> SR11? SR1? Oh she's a 16 valve lad. <laughs> so I went to collect this last night at the car and I got back here at like 1 in the morning from the flag um, don't mind that. It's I'm, good. I have an EJ9 to bring out there. And it might be, I'm getting a respray and doing it up nicely, so this is going to be a little day for a month or two while I'm doing it. You were watching Neil Sheehan with his march. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, no, I've got a few nice bits for it. Well, you have this sticker right, anyways, because it is a certified shit box. I've got a devil wing for it, so. Oh, God. A big, huge wing. <laughs> <laughs> that should be nice on it. I've got this then here. Got a EK4 mid spoiler for it. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got a, someone's dropped me up little 13 inch super lights for it and I have in the back. Would you not be more focused on that chassis? <laughs> yeah, Look, you're more excited about this one, see ya. <laughs> yeah, Micro are the best car ever. I've Look got. at this. So I've got a big. So you got the big boombox, lad. <laughs> yeah, and then for ultimate lows. Six by nines with the Japanese wiring. <laughs> <laughs> and coilovers, which is going to be decked now this time tomorrow. I only collected it last night, so I have all the parts. What kind of seats are in that? It's got EP3 for the Oh fucking hell, there is EP3 seats in it. EP3 seats, it's got a little short shifter. Got one litre for all the power. <laughs> this is, this could be a little funny car. A sleeper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Budget to sleep, it's slow it is, it's funny like. See the SR. <laughs> yeah, it's actually got an SR20 with a... It's got a weird bonnet latch on it. So it's... A, SR1? Yeah, so... Whoever resprayed it just didn't bother to unplug the coils oh, yeah. or take the oil cap off, nothing like that. <laughs> it does look like a little, like a mini, mini, mini SR20. It like, doesn't it? Like a tiny. SR1. <laughs> SR.3 or something. They'd be one litre, so they'd be SR11. 1.1 are they? One point, just one. One, so SR10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little half SR. Put two of them together, you get an SR20. Yeah. A V8 SR20. Big filter. <laughs> <laughs> the filter's in the same size as the car. Gillette, she's clean. She's actually fairly clean. What size is that? Is that much room? Just don't mind the back half. Right, the back half. Alright, that half there. Someone has good at the air holes. Yeah, never mind. Look at this, y'all. I'm going to look at the fun cars. <laughs> uh, we've got the EP3 here now as well. So, Type R? Yeah. This is. This got a lot of work done. So I bought. I went. Um, What's she sound like on the limiter? Oh. <laughs> It's got a gun shot in the middle. I tried to give it a quick wash before you came, but it did a very good job. Give the sound picture. <laughs> it's got a map by Keen Walsh. It's fairly uh, aggressive. I let it warm up for a sec, but so you don't need to warm up a Honda. It's T to limiter. It's uh, got a fully built K20 in it, but not four It's good.
Oh, you have the back all stripped out. Back's all stripped, yeah. That's nicely done. Yeah, I imagine it's it's, it's fast like. Yeah, no, it's very very good. Um, give me a little bit more. Oh yeah, do that again. <laughs> This is your extra storage. There is the power plant for the RX-7. 500 brake. More God's engines. Yeah, so hopefully this one doesn't blow up now as quickly as the other one did. I uh, know, they're good like if they're... Yeah, if they're built properly, they say. If they're mapped, I find if they're mapped right, they're 100% they're they're like... Yeah. That's the engine, that's the gearbox. Um, CD09, a bit of cool works is it? Yeah. Well, we have a new shifter first to fit the RX-7 because the cool works is too far back. I like the skewer pipe around the bottom as well. Yeah, that's going to be at the bonnet now. Are you? Yeah. Why? Like, to be obnoxious? Uh, with that, but also I don't think the screen will fit with the subframe because the subframe is really tight to the engine. Yeah. So we're going out the bonnet for looks as well. Yeah, 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 it looks good. There's the old one that came with the engine, but we're going to Louis Patterson for full rewire. Yeah, that is. So. Oh no, look. She spliced to death. <laughs> yeah. No, she's, that's. And she's in splice to death, yeah, there. It's kind of an S13, so it was, Louis said it would be too messy to, to put it into the Rock 7. It, you could make it work, but. You could, but it'd just be. It's just messy. It's but just. It'd be, Louis, Louis will do a class job. Yeah, we're going to uh, ECU Masters and then full rewire. All the PMU on the screen. We have the you have, you have the lunch. <laughs> no, matter where, no matter if we're in Mandelo or if we're in a garage, you always bring stuff to keep us going. <laughs> You're as good. Yeah. We haven't sang it. We haven't sang It's all going here, so isn't it? Well, where's the table? Oh, you have, you have the dinner table and all. I've no milk. You have no milk. No milk. No milk. No milk. Uh, you left black coffee. I was in the waste, aren't used to black coffee, you know, we need the old cow juice in it. One out of that now. You're in Dublin now, you're in Dublin now. No, it's okay, it's okay. Very hot. <laughs> but thank you. Camera shy. Rocket camera shy, right. So used to Hello Rocky. Hello Rocky. Oh you're lovely, aren't you, Rocky? Unless you are, you are lovely. See you are you are you. <laughs> he likes you too, Louise. Oh he loves me. Too much. Does the dog come with the garage? <laughs> security. Are you security, Rocky? Rocky, are you security? <laughs> So I got what I came for. I'll get the ultimate BL BLT <laughs> widget, thank you for that. That's gonna be so exciting, Mio. So it's still so weird being this year. There's the man himself. I'm gonna head off now and bring my bits with my link. I'll leave it there beside me. And all the best to you guys. Thanks for inviting me up. Link. Thanks for inviting me up. <laughs> Thanks Louise. <laughs> and Rocky. <laughs> Thanks Rocky for coming up. Yes. Alright, I better head back to Galway. <laughs> I'm going back to Galway, yeah. Say okay, bye everybody. <laughs> <laughs> bye everybody! Bye! Hi! Bye. Missing you already!
Look at Skyline. Can you do the wash, lads? You can do the bit of a wash. So yeah, it's a cool place to be. Hopefully you're back here again soon. Thanks Wayne for letting me in your yard as well. It's a nice to be allowed to visit. All the best guys. Until the next time. Back to Sean in the studio. Right. On to the next one. Right, gotta leave this in here. I need it. Oh, you do know see this year? Yes, I am. Here, you'll need this though. Thank you. Alright, have fun. Thank you very much. <laughs>